Reiterate that the concerns raised by our brethren from the Catholic Church and other churches are very sincere and genuine, and they are and they reflect the general concerns of the citizens of our beloved Republic. We also wish to state that the church in raising these concerns is not an enemy of the state or the government, neither do we purpose to act as uh, the opposition arm of the government, but we do this as concerned citizens, correct a younger brother. The church must not be seen as if it's in fight with the government of the day or fighting the government's agenda, but we are following the principle espoused in the Holy Scriptures that an open rebuke is better than secret affection, and that better are the faithful words of a friend than the kisses of a deceitful enemy. Thus, the church must not be viewed as an enemy or as the opposition arm of the government, but as a faithful friend who corrects a friend when they miss a step. The Holy Scriptures in the book of Proverbs 12, verse 1, also teaches us that who, he who loves discipline loves cancer, but he who hates correction is ignorant. Thus, we wish to call upon the president to heed the calls of the church and call for a multi-sectoral, consultative and engagement forum to address the concerns raised uh, from various quarters and to seek a lasting solution to the myriad charities that we face as a nation. We also wish to request the president to rein upon some of his henchmen who want to advance the narrative that the church or certain bishops are, uh, are against and fighting the government or the government agenda. 
contrary to such, the church is raising such concerns to correct the government and to call upon the president and the government to retract their steps and seek a way forward. Additionally, we call upon all religious leaders in Kenya to lead in quelling the anger and the anxiety building up in the nation and to uphold our divine role of praying for our leaders and the government and for the peace of our nation. The church cannot and must not be seen to incite the masses or lead protests. Uh, finally, we wish to remind Kenyans that this government was birthed as a result of prayer and fasting. We call upon God to give us leaders that fit us. We cannot call God to correction. These are the leaders we begot ourselves and we must do everything to correct them when they go astray and to work with them. Finally, as prophets and priests of our land, we shall be calling in line with the God's divine prophecy for a national day of prayer, reflection, and reconciliation in a few days, where all political and religious leaders will be invited to attend for reflection. The Akorino Church remains committed to pray, work, and partner with the government as long as the government remains open to correction and consultation. Peace of the Lord be with you all. God bless you. Amen. 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 Am